Good day, everyone. I am Teacher Rain. Welcome to another Math Word episode. The objective of our lesson today is determine the missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers, even or odd numbers, multiples of a number, or factors of a number. Please prepare your module, notebook, and ball pen. Kids, do you still remember the terms which are odd and even numbers? What about multiples and factors of a number? Odd numbers are whole numbers that cannot be divided exactly into pairs. Examples are numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. While even numbers are any integer that can be divided exactly by 2. Examples are 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. The multiples of a number are all numbers that are products of the number and any other integer. For example, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. The factors of a number are the numbers that divide into it exactly. For example, the number 12 has 6 factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. If 12 is divided by any of the 6 factors, then the answer will be a whole number. Now, try to answer this in your notebook. Fill in the missing shapes or numbers of the following. You will be given 10 seconds to answer. Number 1. You are correct. Number two. You are correct. Number three. Seven. Nine. Eleven. Fifteen. If you answered 13, you are correct. Number 4. 1A, 2B, 3C, 7G. If you answered 4D, 5E, and 6F, you are correct. And number 5, 30, 25, 20, 5. If you answered 15 and 10, you are correct. What is your score? I hope you did well in this review activity. Now, 
You're ready to learn a new lesson. Kids, when a list of numbers are arranged in a row, it is called number sequence. Each number in the sequence is called term. 4, 8, 12, and 16 is the number sequence. Number 4, number 8, number 12, and number 16 are terms. To find the missing term or terms in a sequence, we must first look for its pattern. Look closely at 3, 6, 9. In the number sequence, each term is formed by adding 3 to the preceding number. So, the missing terms are 9 plus 3 equals 12, and 12 plus 3 equals 15. See to it that the pattern is true to the whole sequence from 3 to 15. Here is another number pattern. 46, 40, 34, 16. The sequence of numbers is in descending order. Get the difference between 46 and 40. In like manner with 40 and 34. The difference is 6. The missing terms are 28 and 22, since 22 is 6 more than the last term, which is 16. How are you able to guess the missing numbers or terms? Correct! By analyzing the arrangement, pattern, or sequence of numbers. Give what is asked. What are the missing terms in 6, 8, 12, 26? Look closely at the difference of 6 and 8. 8 minus 6 equals 2. 8 and 12. 12 minus 8 equals 4. The difference is a multiple of 2. The missing terms are... 18 and 36. Adding 6 to 12 becomes 18. Adding 8 to 18 becomes 26. And adding 10 to 26 becomes 36. Hence, 18 and 36 are the missing terms. How are you doing, kids? This time, Apply what you learned from our discussion. Answer items 1 to 5. You will be given 10 seconds to determine the missing terms in each item. Are you ready? Let's start!
Did you get five? Very good. Four and three. Good. Two and down. Nice try. Please focus more. How do you determine the missing terms in a sequence of numbers? Good job again! For us to find the missing terms in a sequence of numbers, we will identify the rule followed by the number in the sequence and then use this rule to find the missing term. Gear up as we level up. Kids, find the missing terms in a sequence of numbers. Be sure to have explanation to back up your answer. By this, you will retain your learning for a long time. Write the letter of your answer in your notebook. Number 1 5 10 15 20 Letter A 11 and 16 Letter B 22 and 28 Letter C 25 and 30 The answer is letter C The missing terms are 25 and 30 why? It is because the sequence of numbers are in multiples of 5. Number 2 1 2 4 7 Letter A 8 and 4 Letter B 11 and 16 Letter C 12 and 14 The answer is letter B The missing terms are 11 and 16 Why? It is because the pattern of the numbers is in ascending order. The difference of 2 and 1 is 1. The difference of 4 and 2 is 2. The difference of 7 and 4 is 3. So, the next two differences of numbers are 4 and 5. To get the first missing term, we add 4 to 7. The answer is 11. And to get the second missing term, we add 5 to 11. And the answer is 16. So, the correct answer is letter B. The missing terms are 11 and 16. Number 3. 24. 20. 16. 12. Letter A 8 and 4 Letter B 12 and 14 Letter C 11 and 16 The answer is Letter A. The missing terms are 8 and 4. Why? It is because the pattern of the numbers is going down or descending. And the next term is decreased by 4. So, to get the first missing term, we subtract 4 from 12. And we get 8 as the answer. To get the second missing term, we subtract 4 and 8, and the answer is 4. So, the correct answer is letter A. 
the missing terms are 8 and 4. Number 4. 9 18 27 45 63 Letter A 54 and 46 Letter B 32 and 41 Letter C 36 and 54 The answer is letter C. The missing terms are 36 and 54. Why? It is because the pattern of the numbers are in multiples of 9. And number 5. 35 38 44 50 Letter A 41 and 47 Letter B 40 and 45 Letter C 39 and 46 The answer is Letter A The missing terms are 41 and 47. Why? It is because the patterns of the numbers is going up or ascending, and the next term is increased by 3. So, to get the first missing term, we add 3 to 38, and the answer is 41. To get the second missing term, we add 3 to 44, and the answer is 47. So, the correct answer is letter A. The missing terms are 41 and 47. What is your score? If you get 5, very good. 4 and 3, good. 2 and down, study more. Great job kids for actively participating in our session. Today, We'll learn how to determine the missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers. Even or odd numbers, multiple of a number, or factors of a number. Let us always remember to identify the rule followed by the numbers in the sequence and then use this rule to find the missing term. Again, identify the rule followed by the number in the sequence and then use this rule to find the missing term. Kids, you can now review this video through our YouTube channel. Search Aral TV, Depth and Late Division, click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get the latest uploads. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from our session today. This is your teacher Rain saying, determining the missing term in a sequence of numbers is easy. Just always follow the rules. See you next time. Bye!